Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I want to talk about one of the most important tools in DevOps these days. It's called Terraform. Okay, so people who are already preparing for a DevOps job, they, they might already know about this tool. Okay, so if you search for any jobs in DevOps, okay, so you will see this term a lot in a lot of job descriptions. Okay. So let's just learn about this tool a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, also going to show you a demo how to install and configure and create a resource in AWS using a Terraform code. Okay, but first let's start with what is IAC and why we need it. Okay, so IAC stands for infrastructure as code. Okay, now the meaning of this is whatever infrastructure you are trying to deploy, okay, you are able to code it or you are able to write a script for it okay now what is the use of writing a script this script can be shipped or it can be stored in a, a source code you know a source code repository somewhere okay it can be downloaded by anyone and then you can use it to create your resource anywhere okay and this is actually like the backup of your entire infrastructure if you have this script written somewhere stored okay as the backup then whenever if someone goes i mean if something goes wrong with your infrastructure you can always recreate all the resources using these infrastructure scripts so uh, uh, that is the reason that in today's world in, in devops world especially these scripts are a must okay and to write these scripts, there are a lot of different tools available in the market, okay? And Terraform is in the highest demand these days. But you do have other, other tools as well, okay? But uh, this is the tool that we all want to learn, okay? As a DevOps engineer or, I mean, if, if you want to get into DevOps, you need to learn a Terraform at all cost, all right? So, uh, so uh, uh, let's just start to uh, see how we can install and configure and create any resource using this tool all right so <clears throat> so uh, before I start the demo okay I just want to talk about some of the benefits of a terraform and why it is actually in highest demand these days so the first thing is it, it is cloud platform independent it means in whatever company you are working in okay and whatever cloud you are using, AWS, okay, uh, Azure or GCP or OpenStack, and there are some other other tools as well, other 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 cloud providers as well. So it is able to integrate with all the tools, which means that to create resources in any of the cloud platforms, you can use Terraform, okay. And the other tools which are a competition to this tool, like uh, you have a cloud formation in AWS. Okay. So cloud formation in AWS is a primarily a tool which is used to create resources only in AWS cloud. You do have some third party integrations, you know, by which you can use this tool to create resources outside of AWS, but it is, it is not a very straightforward process. And, uh, I mean, if you want to use cloud formation, it is, uh, I mean, uh, only for resources in AWS, okay, by default. Then you have uh, the tools in uh, GCP and Azure and some other other cloud plant. Uh, I mean, some other cloud platforms as well. But I mean, all those tools are only limited to their respective cloud platforms. But in case of Terraform, you can use this tool to create resources in any any of those clouds and some other 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 cloud providers as well. Okay, I'm going to show you. I mean, uh, uh, what all providers it supports. Okay, so uh, that's the first benefit and the most important benefit of Terraform. Okay, then the second thing is, if you have, uh, I mean, uh, if you're working for a company where you have uh, different cloud uh, platforms working together, okay, I mean, you have something called as hybrid cloud env uh, environment. In that case also, a Terraform just fits perfectly. Okay. Since I, I uh, just said that you can use it to create resources in any of the cloud platforms. Okay. So it is easier to integrate this tool into a hybrid cloud environment as compared to other tools because you have to 
learn each tool for each cloud in that in that case okay and uh, that is always going to be a little difficult and also it is going to become a lot of comp uh, i mean uh, it is going to become a very complex when you want to integrate all these things together okay so it is always good if you have just just one tool to create resources in all of the resources especially if you are if you are working for one company where you have a, a different cloud environments then it's a, it is very easy to install and configure okay i'm going to show you a demo as well in this video just after this slide then uh, it can be written in json or yaml so so some of the people who are already in devops or you know uh, learning other tools like kubernetes especially which uses yaml manifest file to create resources so uh, yaml is a very easy language to learn and it is uh, like very uh, i mean human readable so terraform also uses yaml but you do have the option to create a json you know a json files as well but i mean yaml is also there so which is which is really good for anyone who is you know uh, not very expert in into coding or i mean uh, doesn't have uh, much exposure into other coding languages so i mean yaml can be used to create resources in terraform then also since it is a very famous tool and it is i mean uh, most widely used so you have a large active community that is always available for support so if you have if you are facing any issues okay while trying to deploy your resources you can always reach out to that large community and and someone is going to uh, come back to you with the answer so these are some of the benefits which are uh, making this tool highly desirable by most of the companies around the world okay all right so without wasting too much time let's see how we can install terraform on an aws ec2 instance okay but you do have the option to install it in any cloud but i'm going to use an aws ec2 instance based out of ubuntu operating system all right so the first thing is since you want to integrate it with aws uh, in this case so you have to ensure that you have aws cli installed okay and then uh, also you have to uh, just I mean, copy and paste the command from the official documentation which I'm going to show you okay so here I'm already uh, logged into uh, an uh, AWS EC2 instance based out of Ubuntu 22.04 LTS operating system version all right I mean you can use any operating system you have the the documentation available to install it on any any uh, OS of your choice so how to do that first thing we have to install uh, AWS CLI on this machine let's see if it's already there I don't think it's installed it's not installed okay so what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to install AWS CLI first so let's let me open it in another window so just write AWS CLI installation Ubuntu and you can click on the first link and just scroll down to Linux and just copy this command okay so here if you see we get options to choose it either of the two so either we can use Linux x86 64 bit operating system or we can do Linux ARM based so by default in most cases you will be using Linux x86 64 bit operating system to confirm it what you can do is the the VM on which you are trying to install I mean VM or yeah I mean I'm talking about a VM here so the VM on which you are trying to install uh, AWS CLI what you have to do is you just have to run a command called uname space hyphen a okay it's going to show you your architecture as well x86 64 bit and this is the default one in most cases so I mean, when you're not sure just go for x86 always okay so uh, we are going to choose this so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here and hit enter okay so it's pretty simple okay so i don't have unzip also in uh, installed on this machine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install unzip first so apt install unzip Sorry, I have to be sudo because I'm logged in as a regular user. All 
all right so unzip is installed now i can uh repeat the command to install aws cli this is also pretty straightforward so if you just run aws space hyphen hyphen version you will see aws installed okay aws cli 2.17.14 version installed perfect so uh, aws cli is, is, is installed now uh, we have to install the, our uh, terraform tool so to do that what you will do is just type on google install terraform sorry install terraform in ubuntu 22.04 and just choose the very first link so it's the tool by hashicorp okay hashicorp is the name of the company which created this tool okay so remember that also install terraform and uh, just scroll down and you can just install terraform manual installation and uh, mac or linux okay uh, verify the installation okay linux manual installation just choose linux here and uh, just uh, copy all the commands in sequence okay without thinking about it too much or i mean you can go into details if you want to learn more about these commands but if you want to just simply install just copy and paste the commands one one after the other and it's going to install the tool for you so basically what i'm trying to do i'm trying to update the package index using apt-get update and then i'm trying to install some of the some of the dependency packages that are required to install terraform okay so the other the dependent tools which needs to be installed beforehand before you can install terraform then i'm going to uh, install the hashicorp gpg key done and then i'm going to verify its fingerprint if it's a valid one or a genuine one okay and uh, then i'm going to run this command it's going to uh, add the the uh, official hashicorp repository to your operating system so before this i mean you will not be able to install terraform tool because a terraform tool is available on this repository so you need to add this repository to your list of repositories okay done and then you have to update your package index to apply the new repository okay it's done and then i'm going to install terraform now alright and you can verify the installation so this is how simple it is to install and configure terraform and terraform is installed successfully alright so this is how you can install terraform now how you can actually start to create resources so the first thing is after installation uh, you have to specify which cloud provider you are going to use to create your resources in my case i'm going to use aws okay so in a terraform's language these cloud providers are called uh, providers okay so if you have to search for any syntax for any provider just you have to type uh, terraform providers okay and just click on the very first link here terraform registry and now you can choose the provider of your choice as you can see here the list of all the different providers that terraform supports right now it's a huge list okay so no matter which which uh, cloud you are using the chances are it's it's going to be uh, well well uh, connected to your terraform okay so here i'm going to use aws so just click on aws and you can click on this use provider 
and this is the very first code that you want to create on your uh, Terraform machine. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to copy it and the first thing that you have to do is I am inside my home directory. Let's create another directory. Let's name it as Terraform. Terraform and I'm going to cd into it. And then I'm going to create my first file which is called provider.tf. So all the files, all the configuration files that are uh, identified by Terraform will, uh, will have extension as .tf. Okay. So what you can do is you can create a file vim provider dot tf. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I mean I'm I'm trying to show you the standard practices when you use a Terraform. You do have other options as well to do the same thing, but this is what is considered the best practices. So first you have to create a file called provider dot tf in which you are going to specify which AWS uh, I mean uh, which uh, cloud provider you are going to use to create your resources. Okay, after you do that, just copy and paste that thing here, and then you can choose all the different options. Okay, to save some time, to save some time, I've already created, I mean, I, I I've already made some changes to the default code that is given on the documentation page, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is to copy and paste any anything that you want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, create in, in in Terraform. Okay, so you just have to um, go to their documentation page and all the different syntaxes are available. You don't have to remember this by, by heart. Okay, these are always available on, on the documentation page. Even if you are working in a real time setup, you would be using the official documentation to copy and paste the syntax and then you're going to make changes to suit your needs. Okay, so to save some time, what I've done is I've already created this file in advance. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this from here. And I'm going to give it to you uh, so that you can also create your uh, resources okay using uh, the, the, these two files okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to just come out of it and repeat the command and this time I'm going to paste my audited syntax okay so what I'm trying to do here is I'm specifying which uh, which which cloud provider I'm going to use and what will be the version of the uh, Terraform that I'm going to use? Okay. Oh, sorry. The uh, the version of uh, the version of the provider I'm going to use. So what actually Terraform does? Okay. Whenever you want to create any resources, it's going to install the provider first. So this provider works as an interface between you and your cloud provider. So whatever instructions you are going to give. To a Terraform, it's going to convert those, uh, you know, those uh, 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 commands into the uh, the text or uh, you know the files which are identified by your cloud provider. So in this case, AWS. So this provider is the tool which converts those different uh, commands into the a cloud provider friendly files or syntax you can say okay so here i am trying to install aws provider and this is the version of the provider and also you have to specify in which region you, you want to create the resources because i mean most of the resources that you create in aws are regional in nature so it is the uh, i mean you have to specify the the region also which you want to use to create your resources okay so here i am using Northern Virginia region, as you can see, I always use Northern Virginia in all of my demos. Okay, this one. So the region code for this is US hyphen East hyphen one, which I'm using in my .tf file. Okay. Uh, okay. So here, is, as you can see, US East one. So that's why I'm using US East one. So you can change it to. Uh, the region that you are using in your AWS cloud. All right, so let's just save it and quit. This is done. Okay, the next file is main.tf. This main.tf file will contain the details of the actual resources that you want to create in your cloud provider. Okay, 
So for that also, if you want to search, you can simply go to AWS and you can type uh, AWS. So for example, I want to create EC2 instance. Okay. So what I'm going to do is AWS EC2 Terraform. Okay. And you can click on the very first link. And once again, you will see a standard syntax that you can copy and paste and then make changes to, to create your resources. Okay. So what I want to create here is in this demo, I want to create an AWS EC2 instance using Terraform. Okay. And you can copy all the text, all the syntax from uh, the official documentation as you can see. So here if you see, so in Terraform, the most important thing that you need to create a resource is the resource block. Okay. So you, you can just copy this resource section from here to here copy and you can once again create a file so whenever you want to create any resources we create a file called main.tf okay so vim main.tf file which specifies the details of the resources that you want to create using terraform so you can simply copy and paste it here and then you can make changes to these details as per your need okay so once again to, to save some time what I've done is I've already made the changes and I'm going to use these things from here. So I'm going to copy it, come back here. I'm going to come out of it. Sorry, I'm going to come out of it and I'm going to repeat the command. And this time I'm going to paste the details that I want to use to create my first EC2 instance. So uh, uh, let's just I mean, go through the details. So I want to get a resource. Okay. So, so as I mentioned, this is the most important block, which is going to define your resource details that you want to create. So here I want to create an AWS underscore instance. Now this AWS underscore instance is a standard terminology that Terraform recognizes. So it has to be same to create an AWS EC2 instance. This resource will always be AWS underscore instance then this is the name that you can choose of your choice okay so this we can change so we can do something like test ec2 terraform okay and uh, then you have ami id so you have to specify <clears throat> which ami you want to use so it is actually i mean quite similar in nature when you create your instance from the ui always okay so so once again, we are just trying to create a script of the steps that we follow from a user interface. Okay. So when you're on your AWS management console, you are trying to create an EC2 instance, whatever options you choose on the UI, all those options can be replicated to your Terraform resource block. Okay. But here I'm just trying to use the minimum amount of options, but you do have the option to choose all those options. So by following the, the documentation given on Terraform's uh, platform, you can choose all those options here, okay, one by one. And as you can see, it is, it is, it is quite simple. You just you have to uh, specify the resource. Then under double quotes, you have to mention the standard terminology that they use, for example, uh, AWS underscore instance for EC2 instance. And then you can specify the name of your choice. And then you're going to use these, these uh, uh, curly braces. And then within these, you can choose the properties of your instance that you want to create. Okay, like AMI ID, key name, instance type. And then you do have the option to specify the uh, the VPC ID, the subnet ID, okay, the the security group and the rules. So all the things are available on documentation. Okay, but I but in this in this demo, I just want to show you how you can create an EC2 instance in the most simplest way using Terraform. So Terraform is a very powerful tool. You can create a very complex application architectures using this. Okay. And uh, I mean, when you use it in the real time, you will see all the things in practical. Okay. So here I'm, I just want to use these details and then I'm, I also want to use a tag. So let's just copy the tag, the same, which I want to name my instance with. So. All right, so here I'm I'm using this uh, key name. So this key name uh, you, you can choose from your uh, own AWS account. So this is the the key name that is already there in my AWS account, 
and I want to use it to SSH to this instance, then I want to use t2.micro instance type, but you do have the option to choose other ones. And also, I am just trying to hard code these values here, but in real time, these will be picked up from variables, okay? So I mean, once again, when we start our, our, our Terraform learning series, okay? Then I'm going to cover all these concepts in a lot of detail. But here, I just want to show you a very simple example of creating an EC2 instance using Terraform, all right? So uh, let's just come out of it, quit and save. So we have two files. We have our, uh, this main.tf file, which is going to specify what resources I want to create with what configuration. Then this uh, provider.tf is going to specify which cloud provider I want to use, okay? So to start your uh, Terraform uh, tool usage, what you have to do is, first thing you have to do is a Terraform init. So uh, just like you do, I mean, if, if you have used the, the git tool, you uh, use uh, uh, git init to start your, you know, uh, to uh, start an empty repository. So uh, similarly, you have to use a, a Terraform init to initiate, to, to uh, initialize your uh, Terraform tool. Okay. So just hit a Terraform, sorry, just type a Terraform in it and hit enter. It's going to check if all the configuration that you've done for your tool is correct or not. If it's not, then it's going to throw an error. Okay, it's going to, it's only going to take a moment here. So as you can see, what it's trying to do, it's trying to find the HashiCorp AWS uh, provider version, which is uh, this one to install and use on this machine. Okay, so it has installed this and then it is trying to uh, see if you have, you know, uh, configured your tool correctly or not. And this is the message that you see Terraform has been successfully initialized. All right. Next thing that you can do is if you want to see if the syntax is correct or not, whatever, you know, a, a syntax you have used in your Terraform files, you can run another command called Terraform validate. So Terraform validate is going to show you if your uh, .tf files has the right syntax or not. If not, it's going to throw an error and it's going to show you the error as well. And also, I mean, when you're running this command, you should be in the same folder where you have your .tf files. Okay, so as you can see, uh, uh, the the uh, configuration is valid, success. Now, <clears throat> we have to run a command called terraform plan. So terraform plan is like a command that is going to show you I mean, what all this command is about to create. So just before creating anything, if you want to see if the resource that you want to create is correct or not with all the details you can run this command terraform plan it's, it, it is just going to show you the details of the resources that it is about to create so just to confirm everything just to review everything you can use this command okay so you can say it is like a dry run of the things okay so a terraform then plan enter and it's going to show you what all it's going to create in your AWS account. All right, so it says no valid credentials sources found. All right, very good. Uh, okay, so I, I forgot one thing, okay. So after installing AWS CLI, I did not configure it. Okay, and that is why it is showing me the error. So. I mean, what it is trying to do is it is trying to find for the IAM user access keys. Okay. So it says uh, no valid credential sources found, which means it is unable to authenticate to my AWS account. Okay. Now uh, you have two ways again, if you have watched my AWS IAM uh, video where I've covered the concept of IAM roles and users access keys. So you have two options. Either you can use uh, IAM access keys. Okay. But since it is it is not a very secure way to do the things, I always try to use role. So what you can do is you can attach an IAM role with all the permissions that you need to create resources to this EC2 instance. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. So let me log in uh, to my AWS management console. I've already logged in actually. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my IAM section and I'm going to 
just see if there's a role available so i have this role admin role which has all the admin permissions in the account so if i attach this role to my ec2 instance then it, it uh, then a terraform uh, will be able to authenticate to my aws account okay so this is my instance that i'm using right now so let's click on the instance id then click on the uh, actions then click on security then go to modify im role and here i can choose admin role so once i attach this role then i won't see that error okay ideally let's see so after you apply the role it's going to be applied almost immediately so we can just try to run the command again let me clear the screen and repeat the command terraform plan As you can see now it is able to authenticate to my aws accounts okay so in this case i, I did not uh, install uh, uh, the uh, user access keys as uh, i mean as it is not secured okay so i i'm using an im role and that's what you should do in a in a real time production environment as well okay so try to stay away from access keys as much as possible all right okay as you can see here it says now one to add zero to change zero to destroy okay so it's going to show you the details of all the things that are going to be created as you can see so these things are going to be created and the details or the uh, I mean id or the name will be available after we apply it i mean i mean after the resource is created you will see all these uh, you know different resource details okay but i have uh, i mean already used the uh, uh, the uh, AMI ID so it is already available but you know resources like uh, the uh, the public IP address of the instance of course when you create the instance this IP will be will be available only after creation and similarly for other things also you will see known after apply which means these resources will be created I mean, uh, 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 I mean after you apply this this particular configuration okay which means after you create the resources then the values of these resources will be available to you all right so after terraform plan we can do let's let me clear the screen we can do a terraform apply terraform apply so uh, this apply command is going to apply the, your uh, your configuration to your aws account okay which means it's going to create the resources for you so just hit terraform apply and it's going to ask for the confirmation okay that this is what you want to so this is i mean uh, what is going to be created in your aws account so i have to just type yes and hit enter but there's an uh, uh, there's a way to you know uh, I mean, do it automatically without any any confirmation so let's just come out of it let's type no if i can apply cancelled so what you can do is if you want to just uh, i mean if you don't want this confirmation to appear you can do a, a terraform apply space hyphen auto approve okay so it's going to apply the configuration straight away without asking for the confirmation as you can see it's time to create one resource aws underscore instance and uh, the name of the instance is uh, test ec2 terraform still creating so this is how simple it is to use a terraform to install and configure and use terraform to create resources using yaml formatted files which are easier to uh, learn and read also by humans so that's why this tool is becoming really popular these days for big enterprises all right so now apply completed and one resource added to verify you can go to your aws management console and just hit refresh on the inst on this uh, instances dashboard and you will be seeing one new instance 
called test EC2 Terraform. Still, it is still uh, initializing, okay, but you can just uh, confirm it using the instance ID which you saw on your oh, uh, CLI as well. So if I if I go back to my CLI, you can see the instance ID is seven eight two six. Here also it is seven eight two six. So this is how you can create an AWS EC2 instance using Terraform. Okay, I hope the video was useful to you. Until now. Okay, uh, so this is created now. If you want to, okay, just one more thing. If I do ls now, you will see one more file which is created. So I just created two files main.tf and provider.tf. But after I ran a Terraform apply, I am seeing another file called terraform.tf state. Now, what is this file? So this file is called a state file of Terraform which means it's a, it is going to record all your activities that you have performed using Terraform tool. Okay, so it is like a recording tool or you can say the backup of your work that you have done. Okay, so it, it's going to record everything in this terraform.tf state file. So, so uh, this file is really uh, I mean, crucial to uh, you know, I mean, backup and uh, store it in a secure place. So, you know. Uh, just because it uh, I mean, captures all your work, okay, and uh, it I mean, gets created automatically when you run Terraform apply command, all right. Now, if you want to delete the resources, you can do Terraform destroy. So, uh, 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 once again, after you run this command, this this command is going to see this uh, Terraform.tf state file to understand what all you have created that you want to destroy, okay. So after I hit this, it's going to see in this in this file that there's one resource which is created an EC2 instance, and that is what I want to kill or destroy here, as you can see, as you can see here. So now it says want to destroy. Okay, it's, it is it is asking for confirmation because I did not use auto approve flag. So let's type yes and hit enter, and it's going to start destroying your EC2 instance. So so this is how you can create and terminate resources using Terraform. Okay, still destroying. It's only going to take a moment or two. And we can also check on AWS Management Console if this instance is getting terminated or not. Okay, so if I just hit Refresh, I can see. I'll be able to see the resource, the EC2 instance being terminated. Okay, so this instance is getting terminated now. It has been terminated rather. So destroy complete. Okay, now if I do ls, you will see another file called, which is created called a terraform.tfstate.backup. Now, this uh, uh, this uh, terraform.tf state file is the file which is going to record all your activity okay uh, 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 that you performed using this this uh, terraform tool then whenever you want to make any changes to this file okay so there's a backup which is created of this file so in case the original file gets corrupted you have the 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 backup of the file available uh, uh, that you can use okay and uh, these two files will be created or uh, you know uh, uh, automatically by the tool okay you don't have to create it but you you you, you still have to uh, um, i mean secure this file so that you can store it in a safe place okay so this is how a terraform works all right so let's see yeah that's all i want to cover in this video okay i just wanted to show you the uh, the uh, the power of this tool and how this tool is really getting popular and i mean why you need to learn this tool to get into devops tools okay so once again i would uh, i mean highly recommend learning this tool if you want to I mean, get a devops job these days because it is really getting popular though i mean other other tools are i mean i mean other tools are also there but this is the tool which is in the highest demand these days and uh, as you can see this is really simple to learn okay and to create resources to install and configure so you can start your IAC journey with uh, Terraform. 
all right guys so that's all i want to cover in this video i hope you liked it if you did please hit the like button please subscribe to my channel and share this video with anyone who wants to learn devops or uh, uh, terraform all right i'm going to see you in the next one bye for now